We should be live. Everything should be working. Please let me know how I sound, how the stream sounds, how the, how the game. If I'm too loud, if I'm too quiet, if the game is too loud, if it's too quiet, let me know all of that very useful information. Hello everyone, welcome to another day of streaming Paper Mario, the original, the first, 64, whatever you want to call it, just the Paper Mario one that's just normal Paper Mario. Hello, Captain Olimar. Hello, 10-year Nintendo girl. I try to read all names I can. Thanks for letting me know. Thank you, Captain Olimar. I was playing Pikmin just earlier today. One of my favorite games. After we beat this one, or after I beat it, I guess, we are going to be going to Super Paper Mario. I'm going to skip the Thousand Year Door. Even though... It's technically next. I don't know if we'll have enough time to do it before the remake releases. And I want to play the remake as soon as it releases, like the day it releases. Hello, Neon Victor. Welcome. I'm having a good day. How is everyone else's day going? I am having a good day. Hope everyone is having else. Everyone else is having a good day. But yeah, after we finish Paper Mario, though, it's kind of up in the air. It's either going to be like Earthbound or Mother, whatever you want to call it, or Undertale. Those are two that have been requested. Yeah, I probably will play Sticker Star at some point, and it will... I don't know if it'll be torture, I haven't played much of the game. So, if you're probably confused about the thumbnail, or the little thingy running around, we gotta take this... Hang on, I was... I had to look ahead, I did look ahead on this, so I'm not going into this as blind as I used to be. I know a little bit about what happens next, but that's simply because of reasons. Um, yeah, I did, I've tried a little bit of Sticker Star. I didn't think it was that horrible. We have a book in our inventory. That's where I'm going right now, in case you're confused. I do know where we're going next. We're going to ride a whale onto an island. Um, and at some point, the, the blue bus at the beginning should hopefully make sense. Um... If you stick around the stream long enough, hopefully the context will come out. But there is a reason I have it there. Yeah, it is an, It is one of the most amazing um, Paper Mario games. Super Paper Mario is just one of the most amazing games in general. Where is the... We have the book. Hang on. We have the book here. It is not the cookbook. Is it the cookbook? No, we got that from some... We have a... We got a lot of letters. We'll take those to the mailman, I guess. I was pretty sure we picked up a dictionary. But we didn't use it because I magically managed to guess all of the the little pattern on its own. Yeah, chapter 5. What was chapter 5? Was that the one with the plant people? 
Or am I mistaken? Was that chapter 6? Talking about Super Paper Mario, not this game. Shy guy stole a full bag of mail. Oh, okay. So the mailbag... I didn't see the shy guy steal the mailbag, but it makes sense. I get the context of that. You're not gonna... Okay, you gave me a star piece. I still don't know what star pieces do. Your partner's in time. That's another thing, is... I don't know if I'll play, um... Paper Jam or not. Eventually, I hope to. Got a lot of letters. Let's read Bow's mail. Yeah, I've played just a little bit of the Mario and Luigi Superstars. And Bowser's Inside Story. Those are the two that I've played just a little bit of. Just the... Just the story. We don't need to worry ourselves with these right now. I'm sure it's very charmingly written and amazingly lore in depth and stuff but I got time I was curious what are you doing why are you out here in the Sun you're like this guy here sits in the dark all day so when he comes outside that's mysterious I've played just barely little of color splash just like the first few levels dry dry outpost oh yeah I remember that we, I think someone on the stream told me that. And so I didn't have to wait to do that. I cannot remember who told me about that secret, but we did do that already, I'm pretty sure. No, I don't think... I, I've seen a little bit of it, but I don't really pay too much attention with S SMG4. It's gotten to the point now to where I feel like it's... That's, that's not the right place. Where is the dictionary guy? I assume it's like some library. Uh, at this point, SMG4 is kind of too, like too in-depth at this point, I guess, for me to feel like I have... Like, I don't understand anything that's going on some of the times. Like, whenever I do see it. But I don't really pay too much attention to it. Okay, this is that dojo. Not here. I'm looking for the dictionary. That's the shop. Okay, this is... If this isn't it, I will be surprised. Curses! Yep. They stole your dictionary. I have your dictionary. Did I not did I not pick it up? I must have missed it. I bet you I know what happened. I bet you I picked it up, but then I died, and then I decided not to go back that path again. So well, I hope that returning the dictionary isn't important. It probably just gives me a star piece, which I still don't know what they do. Alright, so let's go where we need to go now. I'm not going into this, let's see. I think we go through here. I'm not going into this as blind as I usually am. But I wanted to try to incorporate the... This is the wrong way. I mean, there's... I mean, there's lots of reasons why you don't want to reveal your age. I mean, safety reasons, security reasons. I mean, I'm trying to think of, like, what would make me reveal my age. I guess it would be like, I guess like a milestone, I guess, like, I mean, eventually I'll probably do a face reveal, but I don't want it to, I don't want it to become like a big deal, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want my face to be the center of the channel. Like, just by putting my face in the thumbnails, I don't want to get views just for that, like, I want to get views for having good content. And sometimes good content can be the person, like, I think people watch, like, YouTubers like Ryan Trahan, for example, they watch him for Ryan Trahan. They're not watching it because of the things he's doing. Some some of the times they do, but like most of the time, it's just because it's Ryan Trahan. All right, let's save again. All right, right down here is Mr. Whale. Wake up. Youch! What is a, what do you think a whale's voice sounds like? Is it really deep, like it is in like Finding Nemo, like like that, or is it just like hello there? My name's Mr. Whale. I'm not. I'm not a tuna. I'm a whale. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do a voice for the whale or not. But my favorite probably goes between Pikmin or Paper Mario. Those are probably. Those are probably top two series. Not games, but like a collective total. 
Like, every single Pikmin game is phenomenal. And then, in my opinion at least, as much as I've played every Paper Mario game is phenomenal. That's a controversial opinion, of course. Alright, what am I doing? Pull out what? What? That's how I that's how I want to pronounce his name. Like what? What do you dat? What doing? My goodness, everything rhymes. I think I remember that guy from earlier. He he seems familiar. I've seen I think we've seen him before. Do I gotta whack him? Oh I bet ya. Gotta jump on him. Yeah. I just couldn't remember how to start this fight. I do know what this is. Alright. But I feel like we have seen him before somewhere else in the game. Hmm, what do we want to do? We're full health. Let's do power jump. Six, that's pretty good. Um, Thousand Year Door, is it better than this game? I mean, I haven't finished this one yet. So, whatever my answer is, it could still change. But right now, I probably would say, yeah. And it's not because of it. He stole my boot! He stole my shoes! My goodness, I can't... What in the world? Okay, well, let's shake him down from there. Right now, I would say it is. I think it handles a few things a little bit better. Like, the Thousand Year Door came after this. And so it's obvious that they scratched out a few of the mistakes or whatever the proper expression would be. Oh, he's gonna steal my hammer this time. Wish he wouldn't hang from the ceiling. You know the whale must be feeling pain. I mean we're we're using a shock hammer inside his stomach and like a electricity. Imagine having like a pure ball of electricity in your stomach. I just cannot dodge. I cannot time that. I do not know why I cannot time that. Makes no sense. Hope that does more damage than just a normal hammer. I don't think it does, but we defeated him anyway. Alright. I will say one thing. Because I know, because, I mean, we already know we're going to Lava Lava Island. Is, for some, for, for a very long time now, and there's a lot of reasons behind it. I just get so... I don't, I don't know. I guess fed up with how much lava is used in media. Electricity. Oh, you probably went back and watched... If you're asking me about vids about electricity and cheese, you're probably asking about my very first... One of my very first videos. Those are from an older era, I guess you could say. Uh, but I just get, like I was saying, I just, there's only like w two or one cases where I feel like a volcano or whatever was used in a proper way. Like it wasn't used just for the fact of using it. That would be like, I think, Lord of the Rings, if you ever seen that. I think that was one of the very rare cases where it was used right. And I don't know how it's going to turn out here, but like we're going to the big volcano on island and it's very large, erupting, very dangerous, yada yada. I don't know. I feel like it's, I mean, it's a thing with Bowser now. I mean, he lives in like this desolate, horrible land. I mean, I know that's a, like a thing with Bowser. Oh, you got to talk to him first. Yes. But like, I don't know. What do you... How do you how do you all feel about that? I just feel like it's used everywhere, and sometimes it's good. There are, there are a few times when it's used to actually benefit something, but I feel like almost all the time it's just thrown in for the heck of it. That bird looks so weird. Like that is that is sixty four right there. They cut some corners on that bird, but I love it. I love that bird. As goofy as it looks. I love how it's not moving either. It's just sort of floating. Hot, hot times on Lava Lava Island. Yeah, Big Yoshi. 
I don't think it's the classic Big Yoshi, though. It's a different one, because regular Big Yoshi is from uh, RPG. Alright, Mr. Whale, just wait right there. We'll be done in three hours. Hopefully it'll be sooner than that. Mr. Colorado, he's excited, though. We don't know. I do not know what the next vid is going to be about until tomorrow. I usually put up a poll of what I'm thinking it's going to be. There's always a few options. And I'll let everyone vote on what they would like seeing. That, that's not just because I only want to do what they want to do. What people vote for it is I want to, I want to see what would be co collectively the most watched video. Because if I make a video and no one actually wants to see it, then that does no good. Hello, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Wow. The actual game showed up to my stream. I don't think we're gonna... I'm, 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 we're just gonna walk by him. Can we jump on this and bounce? Is that what this is? How do you go up? I don't know how you go up on that. Yeah, I figured... It, from what I had seen, he just sort of leaves. If I'm gonna beat this game, I've gotta start cutting corners. In time. I mean, I would ever eventually beat it. Yeah, you did go back and watch those original videos. Those were uh, from an ancient era, a different, a different period of time. Welcome to Yoshi Village. This music I have used this music before in the background of my videos because I had found it, but I didn't know where it was from. The village leader is my friend. I mean, hello. Yeah. All right then. There's the village leader. Welcome to you, Mario. I am the village leader of Yoshi Village. Ah, you come seeking help. You wish to go to Mount Lava Lava, do you? Hmm, the entrance to the volcano is in the jungle, but it's very difficult to get to it. The volcano has been awakened as well. I think it may be too dangerous for you to go there. Well, thanks for your help. Let's go find Colorado. A fish. Why is this catching my eye for? Oh, it's so rare to have visitors these days. I love to stop and chat, but I have my fins full. I'm watching these boys. Who are you? Very, very naughty. So they don't go any, anything dangerous. I can't prove it yet, but I bet they're planning something. What if they think they can fool sushi? <laughs> sushi, like the name of a fish. They'd better think again. I had seen this fish before, but I'm pretty sure he's a partner. I didn't know his name was sushi. So it's like it's like Callie and Marie. Naming squids after calamari and fish after fish food. Save block! Like a moth drawn to a lamp. Welcome back, Black Baron. That's quite an entrance you have there. Need to have... feel like that should be animated. Oh, it is. I didn't know... Sorry, let me... Re let me see what I'm... Re let me let you know the context of what I'm responding here. I just read in this chat that... The Paper Mario Thousand Year Door remake box art is the Japanese box art of just the original Thousand Year Door. That's interesting. That makes sense. A Reddit story video. I don't know. I don't want to get. I don't want content to be too far out from what I normally do. Is this like a mini game here? What is this? Oh, this is a toad house. I bet you. Can I sleep in this bed? Yeah, that's what it is. I don't... Do we need to sleep? I think we do. I think we do have health. We'll, we'll heal. Yes, we'll take a nap. I wish I could get in bed like Mario does. Just sort of, like... See how easy he gets in bed? Yeah, I saw that it's us, your profile. You stole that from Mad World? I still haven't played that game either. You've been telling me about it. For a bit. Alright, let's go in this shop. We got snowmans. Yeah, just... I feel. I tell you what, I don't see Yoshis in Paper Mario games very often. I know there's the little one in the Thousand Year Door. But I don't think there is a Yoshi in the Origami King. And I know there's not one in Super Paper Mario. So. Yoshis... Yoshis are definitely lacking in the Paper Mario area. They need more they need more story, I think. I would love like 
more Paper Mario, or more Mario spin-offs to get Paper spin-offs. Like, for instance, the Super Paper Mario game, that should be a spin-off of its own. Like, it should be a spin-off of a spin-off. There should be more, like, Super Paper Mario 2. There should be more of those types of games. And not necessarily the same story. You can forget you could forget all about Tippy and Count Black and all of the Minchio. Just use that style and tell another story in that way. Yeah, Paper Mario is I pretty much count it as a mainline game at this point. It's it's basically the mainline game of this year. Like, do we know what Mario game is coming this year? It's the Thousand Year Door. We don't know. We have no idea what they're doing after Luigi's Mansion releases. It's completely blank. And it's the most... Su it's the most confusing thing. I was gonna say surprising, but I, I... At this point, nothing's really surprising, but like... It's confusing. Because Nintendo likes to advertise... When they're doing... Stuff. They like to have us, like... Build and hype for it well above launch. So if they don't tell us nothing right now... It must be pretty far off when they're planning on doing something next. I like how he uses, like, old English. Like, did you think I was beset by enemies again, old boy? Like, beset. That's, like, one of the only times I've ever seen that word. Did you think I was beset by enemies, old boy? Alright. The music is a little bit more chaotic now. Because Yoshis are in a panic. What's wrong? What is wrong? The kids are gone. The only place they could have gone is in the jungle. I mean, you live in a jungle. I had a feeling they were up to something lately, but I thought it was just mischief. I didn't think they'd go into such a dangerous area. You know, if this if this Yoshi kids are always this misbehaved, it makes more sense why Yoshi's were able to handle baby Ma Yoshi was able to handle baby Mario. Yeah, what new game is coming in 2025? Yeah, that's a good point too. <laughs> Princess Peach released a year ago already. We, for we forgot all about that game. It's just one day later. It's already a year later. Okay, I don't need to speak to anybody else. We can just go and get the Yoshis. Alright. Well, that was unpleasant. Do we remove the, we move the bushes? Okay. Now, we gotta get over there. I'm pretty sure... You unlock sushi somewhere in here. But yeah, I could be streaming soup, uh, Princess Peach Showtime right now. Technically, I guess. I gotta keep whacking this tree. Alright, we got... That's probably the easiest partner to get. You didn't have to defeat any bosses to unlock him. You didn't have to blow up a cage, you didn't have to find three letters. It was like Goom like it was like Goombari, you just met up with him. Alright, Sushi. Sushi, join the party. See I one thing I want to point out is I've never seen these little paintings like those before. Like I feel like those should be like posted everywhere. Like why am like I don't know, I feel like there's such nice beautiful like they're pixelated but they look like almost oil paint they're really nice yeah paper mario the thousand year door is the number one game right now for me you can you can forget most everything else i'm still excited for the luigi's mansion 2 that's for sure um How do you go? There we go, okay. But like the Thousand Year Door, like I don't think I had ever been as excited. Like watching that direct, I wish I could have streamed that direct. Like I wish I was doing this back then. Cause that would have been an unbelievably fun time. But I'm planning on doing the next one. 
the next direct and hopefully it'll it'll have some stuff to talk about actually because the last one really didn't have much to talk about it had some stuff like world of goo um mickey paint can't remember the exact name those those were kind of unique announcements world of goo 2 is probably the most exciting just for me because i like I like puzzle games, and 2D puzzle games hardly ever come around anymore. There used to be so many of them. But you hardly you hardly ever see them anymore. Ooh, an upgrade. Let's upgrade our little fishy friend. Because we don't upgrade Goombario. We upgrade the fish. Alright, there's a... Shy guy, I knew we'd do that. Yeah, I've never played the uh, Luigi's Mansion 2. I've played 1 and 3, but I've never played 2. So I'm looking, I'm very happy that they put that on the Switch. Alright, let's see what Belly Flop does. Push to the left and release. Okay, so it's the same as a hammer. Belly Flop. Probably shouldn't have Belly Flopped on a sharp steak. So we on he only has 1 HP? My goodness. He's a weakling. I mean, I guess he's on he's a fish on land, I guess. Can't expect too much. Alright, let's use a star spirit. Which one do we want to use? What does this do? If it works, if it works, we'll briefly nope. Yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna try the Star Storm. Have not used this yet. Rain down my stars. Is that enough? Yay, it was enough. Very glad that was enough. Alright. Now let's upgrade Sushi. I still don't know what the real point of the... Oh wait, we never upgraded what? We must have missed one in Shy Guy's toy box. I don't know if he's going to be useful from this point on, but I know we're going to be using Sushi a lot, so... We've, we've got to upgrade Sushi. If we find another one, we'll upgrade Watt. Gubario is still waiting. He's been here since the very beginning. Does this plant do anything? It's a, it's a boss fight. Or not a boss fight, it's a fight. Lovely. Exactly what I wanted to do. I don't know if you could stand on him, but if you can, I'm going to test it. Glad that didn't backfire. Belly flop. I mean, so far, that's probably not my favorite attack. Favorite animation, though. Oh, come on. Of course, it's a poisonous plant. What were we expecting? I still don't know how you do consecutive jumps. I know there's a way. Yeah, that animation is really good. That backflip. That is just fun. I'm impressed with this game. Because it's an N64 game, but like that background right now. Look at that background. Let's get over here to it more. That is... Well, I thought that was going to let me see it. Let's go back. That is a beautiful background. You can look in the bushes. Like, I love that clouds... And it's, it's like an oil painting, but it's pixels. It's so it's so impressive. I assume we go this way. I probably should have paid attention to exactly how... Do I jump up there or not? Is it a trap? I feel like that's a trap. It was a trap. I'm a... I'm a gullible little Mario. Alright. I probably should have paid better attention to how many Yoshi children there were. I assume there's probably one up here. Okay, here's one of those flowers. I cannot remember how that works. Oh, you just sit on it. I don't want to activate boss fight right now. 
Well, not, not boss fight, just... Oh, not fuzzies, not the fuzzies, no. All right, we're gonna use... Starstorm. I can't remember the name of that star. I'm pretty sure it's like Skeller or Scholar or something. Is that enough? Please tell me that's enough. Yes, it was enough. That's probably my favorite star spirit ability. Because he, like, he one hits them all. That is fantastic. Wish you could focus star spirit out of a fight. That would definitely be a plus. Alright, let's get Watt. Hopefully Watt won't be too used. Because we skipped upgrading him to upgrade. Alright, so here's our first Yoshi baby. Baby. Do you want to uh, come let me ride you? Can I ride you? Like I do in Thousand Year Door. I don't know if that rock... Does that rock do anything? Can't tell. I don't think so. Just the decoration. Alright. Let's pull out the fish. How many partners are there in this game? Because, I mean... Comparing to Thousand Year, we got Goombella. Coops. Um, Captain Bobbery. Um, Yoshi Kid. I'm trying to remember abilities. Vivian. Uh, Mrs. Flurry. And then... I know I'm missing Warren, but I'm pretty sure. Is this it? I feel like I'm almost at the end of unlocking partners. There's like two more stars left. I assume we unlock maybe one more partner. Maybe. But I assume the last chapter is probably no partners. Right, can we get up here? Do I have to get on the dock? Yeah, I have to have a dock to get off. Alright. Stumpy. Stumpy the stump. Well, that is springy. That was... That was well hidden. Well, there's another baby Yoshi. Man, they, like, they ran away on purpose. Why are you upset? Like, if you didn't want to cry like that, you shouldn't have run away. But of course, I'm glad they ran away, because... Now Mario can prove his worth to the village elder. The leader of the Yoshis. I always thought Yoshis were just like wild animals, but now I know they have a they have a anarchy or not a, not an anarchy. They have a hierarchy. They have a form of government. All right, we came this way already. Let's go back here. I know I'm not doing this in the right order. I don't, I don't want that guy. Please. Please. So he doesn't want to come off that bridge. Well, he, he, he took his little thingy and he, like, leech, reached for me at a distance. He didn't want to step off the bridge. But he risked it. Alright, so first things first, we gotta get rid. No, hang on. We gotta get rid of that. Why did that only do four? I thought, I thought it does six. I timed it right. I meant to, I meant to belly flop the... Fuzzy. If he calls in another fuzzy, I'm gonna be so mad. Well, guess what? I'm so mad. Now we're running. It's pay to win. This is what this game is, really. It's a pay to win game. If they had a way to where you could buy those currencies, I just, I just started the fight up again. All right. Let's jump on him. So that did four. And then this is gonna do four as well. Or two. Come on. He's gonna he's gonna call one in. This is like my least favorite fight of the entire game. Because if it's not, um Because if it's not the fuzzies calling in a third one, it's that guy. I've got a heal. I don't know what to do. Damage. That's pretty funny. You could throw the coconuts.
Yeah, the fuzzies are my least favorite enemy in this entire game. Dealing with them in the Forever Forest, that was absolutely horrible. Now, we're going to run away, we're going to heal out of the battle, and then we are going to restart the battle. Alright. What's this do? Do we not have something to heal HP? Oh, come on. I hate that shy guy on the bridge is my least favorite shy guy of the entire game. If I can just get past him, I'll be okay. So, I'm okay now. We got past him. Don't touch that plant. No! Not a fuzzy. I hate fuzzies. Like, I, I don't know why. Like, in normal Mario games, they're never a big deal. Like, I'm trying to think of games that have them. Like, Mario Odyssey. It's not a big deal. New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Not a big deal. But this game, for some reason, fuzzies are like the absolute worst. Uh, we cannot do anything to heal, so my hope it works, it dazes and paralyzes all enemies briefly. Alright, we're gonna use the old dizzy disc. Only works on one of them, of course. And I bet you anything, piranha plants do at least. Squirts a powerful jet of water, great for fire enemies. Creates a cube of water to boost Mario's defense briefly. Alright, well, our only hope is to... Well, I messed that up completely. Our only hope is that this is able to block enough damage. Of course, it was poisonous, though. Well. We're gonna eat the, um, tasty tonic. Cures poison. We're trying our best. Thankfully, there was a save block not too far away. Alright. Hold and then tap to power up. But don't let it reach the edge. Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry, I was confused. Oh, thank, you, thank goodness, lucky badge. Alright. Let's attack this guy with some power. Is that enough? Please be enough. Alright, it was enough. Yes! Alright, he's awake, and he's probably going to attack us next time. I don't know what I'm planning on doing after this, to be honest with you. I'm only on one health, and I have no heal items. I was really hoping I would unlock. Alright, Yoshi, please heal me. If you can just give me a heart, that would be great. Can I have your heart, please? Nope. Oh man, I'm... I've cornered myself. I'm in a really bad pickle. There's nothing around. I have no heal items. This does flower points. Now let me go look. If that heals flower points. If I can get the first fight. What do... What badges do I have on? HP plus is on. Alright, my guess is we're just gonna have to go first in the fight. Not not ready for that yet. Just get around. Can we get off over here? We can. Now please don't let me be stuck over here. Well, this is where we come in at. So I think we're good. I think we made it. We can find a... Uh, something sleeping. Of course! Of course! What did we not see? How could we have not seen that coming? If it works, dazes and paralyzes all enemies briefly. Alright, let's hope the old dizzy disc works. Because obviously electricity is not going to be good against those guys. Alright, it worked. Belly flop. Lovely animation. I 
I'm glad they didn't change anything about this game when they put it on the Switch. Because I'm ge I'm getting the authentic Paper Mario experience. Alrighty then. We've managed to make it on three fights now with only one HP. Obviously going for HP. I don't even need to think about that. Well, we made it! Somehow, miraculously, we survived. Why is everybody up in trees? Ah, morning. Hey, it's Mario. What's the matter with you? You were looking for me, huh? Oh, sushi too. You were playing hide and seek, and I got real sleepy. I figured I'd take it. So they were playing hide and seek. I would love to be a part of the conversation those little Yoshi kids had. Like, hey man, you wanna go play hide and seek in the woods where a lot of enemies are? You know, separate in the woods, split up. And then they like, they play hide and seek and they're waiting. And like when no one finds them, how many Yoshis have I found so far? Is this enough? Are you satisfied? Thank you for finding my son. No, I don't think I have found them all yet. You're still a panic. How many are left? Mario, just one more. Uh, I bet you that last Yoshi kid is like really annoying. Who knew Yoshi kids could be such big misbehaviors? Like, Yoshi kids, are they only in the Paper Mario games? Because for some reason, I feel like I don't remember seeing Yoshi children in, like, um, the mainline games. Alright, I'm not going to mess with that flower. It's obviously a poisonous flower that's a trap. I'm glad this fish is strong enough to carry a full-grown man. Alright. So... Let's see where we go... We probably have to head into the water. I forget these bushes move. Why did I forget that? Let's go check over here. Alright, we've come over here already. Let's get into the water, because I don't think I could get in the water the first time. We found sushi in that tree there, so we probably have come, and come over this way. Oh, here's a real good shot of the background. Oh yeah. That's awesome looking. Wish that wish that tree wasn't in the way. There we go. Oh man, that's better. Look at that. That's fantastic. He's taking a long time to get that seed ready. I wonder if they're related somehow to the plant people in um, Odyssey. What are their- oh look! You can come underneath the ridge. <clears throat> Glad that isn't a soft lock. That would be bad. Now I wonder if these little guys over here that spit out the seeds with the flowers, I wonder if somehow they are related to the watering can robots from Mario Odyssey. Like I can imagine themselves building robotic armor suits and then just becoming robots. Because that's why they're able to produce a seed. Because they're they're actually plants, not robots. That should that should have been that should make a game theory episode. The little plant creatures from Paper Mario are actually the plant robots from Mario Odyssey. But hey, that's just a theory. Man, he is crying loud. Is it over here? Oh, please don't be an enemy. It was an enemy. All right, we're gonna run. Pay to win. It's a pay to win game. 
I just won that round. Because what's the definition of winning a round in this game? Just being done with it. So I was done with it. No. Ba 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 boo boo boo. Right, can we not? Can we gotta jump around? Okay. Oh, this is the big. This is the beginning. There's a secret path back here and a pot. A stopwatch. Wonder what stopwatches do. There was a secret path. That's creative. All right, so that baby Yoshi's got to be around here. Probably in that tree. We probably got to do that fight, don't we? Yep. So let's just whack it. Can we not whack it? Nope. All right. We wasted the coins. But now we're here. Let's do multi-bounce. Hit them all. See, the d mess is up. When you got that one... When you got that worn jumping badge on that makes you ground pound. Alright, let's belly flop. I really need to I really need to change him out when I fight, because he's not the strongest. Of course everything here is poisonous. At least poison doesn't stack. Alright. Let's use the Quake Hammer. Alright, the first one has been defeated. Oh, we can use the Star Points. Let's use that next. Does that do him in? It does. <clears throat> the goal is to get to the next save point. That's always the goal. Alright. What do we want to use? Does poison heal on its own? <clears throat> I feel like poison does heal on its own. I really would like to save the star points for when we need them. I just cannot time them. Like, this here is easy to time. But, like, the jumping? Impossible. Like, I blame, I blame the game. It's not because I'm less skilled, it's because of the game it was made for... Insanely... Oh, it was... I thought he was in the tree. I ate. I thought he... I thought... Oh, I thought he, I thought he said I ate. Like, all right. But in that slang way, no, he just says, ah. That was so scary. We were playing hide and seek and there was this weird plant and it trapped me in here. Weird plant. Yeah, that is a weird plant. Yoshi, Mario, Mario gives you a thumbs up when you rescue all the children. Like, good job. Like, Mario knows we exist, he just gave us a thumbs up. Why would, like, imagine you're just got doing something. You look up at the horizon, and you give it the, you just give the sky a thumbs up. Mario knows, oh, this is not right. Mario knows that he's being controlled by a player. And he's okay with it. Look at that smile. I can't tell, it might be, it might just be his mustache. Are you glitching? He, he was, he was twitching there for a minute. Alright. I assume that guy is still making his seed. Let's see, where do we go? Wrong, wrong, wrong way. Went the wrong way. I always forget those bushes can be separated. That shy guy on that island is like, so happy to be on that island. Alright, let's go talk to the, uh, chief. Or well, first, let's jump on this. This is intriguing. Well, these... This is interesting. ka ka, -ka. Oracle of the stars, Mario comes to this island. Mario was fated to meet Master Raphael the Ravens. Ka. 
Are you the Mario that Master Raphael the Raven was telling us about? Why do you have normal feet? You're birds, apparently. You're ravens. I thought they were those little creatures that dig. Do you know what I'm talking about? Those little creatures that are, like, really rare and you whack them? Well, this is... Lovely. I mean, I mean, so far, top design. This is peak, peak Paper Mario right there. A blob with realistic feet. Like, you see the toes. Like, they didn't have to do that. But they put toes. How do you get... Oh, please don't. You're not gonna be stuck in here, am I? Oh, wait. You just walk off. You just walk off the side. Mario doesn't scare. He just... See, this is this is gonna be something eventually. Mario just walks right off a tree. He can't he can't swim. Got to swim on the fish. Mario can't even go in the water. All right, the village elder has. Oh, there he is. I thought he was, I thought he moved. Yeah, there's the birds. A statue. Mario, I must thank you. You have saved the children of the village. I feel that no expression of our gratitude could be enough. You truly are a hero. We deeply appreciate your valor. At least I can do this. You still wish to go to Mount Lava Lava, don't you? I have remembered a good way to reach that volcano. Please, come this way. Uh-uh. I thought it was somewhere around here. Oh yes, I found it here. It is. Take it, please. You got the Jade Raven. Okay. Does anybody else see it? Does the Jade Raven... I hate it, but does it look like an Among Us? Does, doesn't it look like a little Among Us creature? Is it just me? But yeah, that's, that is the boss of Yoshi Island. I don't know, that little Jade... Jade Raven looks a lot like... the Among Us little people. Alright. Let's go stick it into... Why can he not just walk off the edge? That water is not deep, Mario. Are you just par... Mario's just paranoid. Now right, let's go stick this on the statue. And we'll determine once and for all what it truly does look like. I'm pretty sure this is the right way. I mean, it obviously does look... Is there a way to exit over here? Nope. Oh yeah, we went the wrong way. We always go this way. And it's just a dead end. Yeah. <clears throat> it's, it's an Among Us. I hate it. I hate that I had to be the one to find that. That's gonna become the thumbnail of this video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change it after the stream. That's just too good. It's too, it's, it's a bad thing and it's a good thing all at once. Wrong way. Gotta go through the back. Do we have to get by the guy on the bridge? No, because we egg enter right here. All right, where are we going? We are going to over here, is it? I wonder how you do get that coin. Cause I'm sure there's a way you get it without, what? No, come on. Uh, Fuzzy, we're gonna run. It's these guys again. I already dealt with you, man, with you fellas earlier. I don't have time right now. What? You left the bridge! He does not supposed to leave the bridge! Come on. Alright, we're using the full force. You're gonna feel the full pain of Starhaven. Alright, I assume we get to get another good look. At the Jade Raven. <laughs> the Jade Raven. Alright, here's a fuzzy. I like the Ravens. Okay, you, there's no way to get the coin normally. Bummer. 
I hate it when games are designed with one thing that you never get normally. But yeah, doesn't that... Like, I see where it looks like the raven, but the fact that they put the beak off to one side... Like, if it was in the middle, like it is up at the statue, no. But because it's off to one side... That is just... That is just too perfect. That is just... That is just so funny. Alright. Okay, does the ground look like Minecraft now? The mine, the ground, the grass looks like Minecraft grass. I love the variety in Shy Guys in this game. That is like my favorite part. What? Did, why, why didn't that work? Where are we supposed to go? Is it up here? Where is it we're supposed to go? That make make a noise. I figured the bushes move. Yeah, I'm glad that it has those two little white pixels. If it didn't have those two little white pixels, it would be worn for worn. Pretty much. No, I tried to spin, but that plant blocked me. And of course, more shy guys and fuzzies, both. I wish, like in. Other Paper Mario games, after you get so far into it... Oh wait, I bet you it's these, isn't it? Yep. I knew some bushes had to slide. There's a vine on the tree, do I need to pull that? I think we got through without the vine. Pretty sure vines are coming up. From what I know. I like puzzles like this. This is what I want more of. Like, not bot, not enemy fights, not a hundred shy guys and fuzzies. Wrong way. I want puzzles. Alright, let's put, no, not that one, this one. And back, is that it? That's it. On the left tree. Okay, well, I'm curious now. You've made me curious about that vine. We're going to go back and look at it. Hopefully, I can avoid the shy guy again. I'm curious. What happens when you try to run from a fight and you don't have enough coins? There is a vine. I did not see that. How do you grab a vine? It's an egg. We got an egg. I don't know what use an egg has, but we'll find out. Thanks for letting me know. I would have missed that. Alright. Let's go... And see... Alright, here's a lot more vines. It's like the beginning of, um... The Origami King. Yep. What I was expecting. I was expecting an enemy to come out of one of them. We're gonna leave the area... Hope the guy reloads. I hope he unloads. You use it in cooking? Yeah, we'll have to take that back to Tasty. Oh, come on! It's another one! Thankful for the spin ability. If you, it, it's, it's a really nice, quick way to travel. I wish it didn't pause when it finished. Okay, there we go. But yeah, pulling down the vine, that's just like the beginning of the Origami King. You pull down those vines. And arguably, I would say the pulling down the vines are even more creative in the Origami King. Who has a 3DS? I have a 3DS. I don't use it very much. But I do have it. That's what I'm probably going to be streaming Sticker Star on at some point. Oh, come on. Is this forced fight? Is a, It's a forced fight. Where did the magic guy come from? Yeah, I thought it was just three piranha plants. Then, like... He, oh, that's Jerry. You don't need to worry about him. He was... He, just, he decided to show up for no reason. 
But now I'm scared of Jerry. I want to get him gone. I feel like he's only going to, like, summon more enemies. We dodged it, finally. Okay, let's see how much damage Jerry does. He heals himself instead. Alright, we are down to one health again. Let's use... Starstorm. Your least favorite chapter. I mean, yeah, so far it is really just boss... It's really just fights. So far. There hasn't been a ton of... Store. There's been the Yoshi thing. Alright, well there we go. That was it. The white mage. He's the white wizard. He's Gandalf the white. He came back. Alright, well there's the first game over of this stream. It took an hour. We were one hour in before I had my first game over. Oh, it's another Novus raid. That happened last time. Alright, hopefully... Oh, come on, we didn't save after we saved the Yoshis. No! No! Yeah, I hate this chapter. I agree with you, this is my least favorite chapter. Welcome, Novus. Nintendo Novus. So, oh, what's up? I just lost a lot of progress. And, it, and it's not progress that I would have hated losing, but it's the fact that this is my least favorite chapter so far. Yeah, I mean, you'll enjoy the game, probably up until this chapter. This is my... I mean, I love the Yoshis. This guy has an awesome design. There's a lot of creativity here, but too much back and forth. Like like, like you said, too much backtracking. Let's do all of that again because I failed to save. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by, Nintendo Novus. Alright. My goal is we're going to save the kids, at least, so I don't have to do it next stream. I want to finish this game! I thought N64 games were supposed to be small. No, I'm, in, I'm enjoying this game a lot. I don't want you to think I'm... See, I've never seen that painting again. All right, at least we know what we got to do now. Yeah, this is absolutely, absolutely horrible. I'm gonna get that star piece, even though I don't know what it does. We'll figure it out one day. All right, what's on this island? That little guy, we know he's not gonna give us anything. Already, and I, I know he's probably you probably come back later on and get it. I'm not patient enough for that. We'll probably never return. Yeah, I only had finished like half of the chapter before I had to restart it all. Like, I can't believe there was not a, a single save block anywhere during this. Not a single save. And what's so funny is Mario basically died to poison. How did how did the stream end? Or how did the game end? Poison. Yeah, I know. I figured I hadn't even hit the dungeon. You made the first strike. Alright, we're gonna run. No, we're not changing it. We're gonna run.
Alright, we got the upgrade for sushi. Because I assume that that did help us, didn't it? Because I got a chance to undo it now. I'm pretty sure it made him a little bit quicker. But I'm going to try to keep um, Bombette out. Or I'm going to try to keep Bao out. In case, whenever I might run into an enemy, I'm going to leave Bao out. Because like, I can always... I was trying to press the down to activate her. It opened up the menu. I was going to say I could always turn invisible. And, and well, of course, it didn't work that time. Well, I'm glad to know the dungeon is not as bad. Alright, we're going to run again. I cannot hit that button as fast as I think I can hit it. Like, I think I'm spamming the button, like, insanely fast. But for this game's standards, I'm just barely, barely tapping it. Alright. There's that trick plant that has the coin that's unattainable. An unattainable coin. Unless you, unless you take damage. I feel like there should be some trick. Like, you should step up there, turn invisible, and then it doesn't know what to do. I don't know. Let's get our seafood back out. So far, Sushi doesn't have much personality. Like, Bao has a backstory. Like, she's the... I guess the daughter of some rich old ghost. She's inherited millions. Or she could have worked for it. I don't know. She's like the... The princess of the ghosts, I guess. Lady Bao. Why is this not working? It worked earlier. What am I doing? There we go. I'm trying to figure out what I was doing wrong. Okay. Avoid the shy guy. Take out Bao. Okay, I'm glad to know. I, I would rather it be pathetic in comparison than be like insanely hard. Oh no, your second... Have I already done your least favorite chapter? Please tell me I've already done that. Alright, well, all that work, we've only got the first Yoshi child. No, not the next one. Like, this game is really good for a lot of the time. Like, the majority of the time, this game is really good. But there are just a few sections that are just... They need a little rework. And so, like I said, this game could benefit more from a remaster than the Thousand Year Door, like I was talking about in the last stream. Like, if any game needed to have the remaster that the Thousand Year Door did, it would be this game. You know, that log is... I was trying to figure out what the purpose of the log was. It's to keep you from being able to access this section from the secret path. But like, I, if the Thousand Year Door is a sign that they are willing to go back and not just give a support, but fully remaster an old game, that would be absolutely phenomenal. Like, on the top of my list for games to be remastered is probably the original Luigi's Mansion. Just because that's not on the Switch yet, we would have all three Luigi. We would have all the Pikmin games. We would have all the um, Luigi's Mansion games. You know, if they put Metroid Prime One and Two, I mean Two and Three. Like, I would love to have a console they would release and have every single game of everything, every single series on there. An incredibly annoying boss. Oh no. Alright, this is the... That's the area we don't want to go. Alright, where are we supposed to go? We've got two of them. There's the one... Oh yeah, there's the one here. 
Gotta do this fight again. I'm just gonna use the star power at the very beginning. Yes, well, I mean, I guess there, you're right, there is already a remaster of Luigi's Mansion 1. I completely forgot about that. You're right. I keep forgetting it's on the 3DS. Bring, just port the first one over. That's it. It's done. I forgot all about that. I play the original. That's what I had set up to work on my emulator, and so I forget that there is a remaster. I feel like that should work a little bit different. Like, you're allowed to touch the edge, but as long as it's not on the edge when it ends, you'll be okay. Or that little bar needs to be designed to work a little bit better with the method that they set up. Right, we were, that's right, I was going to use the star power. That's what I said I was going to use. I wish they didn't take two. Ooh. I feel like that's a dumb... I feel like that's a dumb decision. Like, each star power is, even as powerful as they are, should just take the same amount of star ability. One, one shouldn't be over more than the other. But what, you, what is the common consensus on that? For people who've played this game. That's what I, I want to I wanna know more about what people truly think about this game. Because I know what they think about the Thousand Year Door. They've made people make sure we know that really well. But like, even the original game is like... Some people that like the Thousand Year Door even haven't even played this one. I'm pretty sure we did that back up there. Like, when you say joke... Yeah, there's the one in the tree. When you say this chapter's boss is an absolute joke, do you mean the, in the fact that... Oh, wait, we gotta go around. That's right. Do you mean in the fact that it's a really easy fight? Or the fact that it's just a really annoying fight? Yeah, the analog triggers. I wish they would bring back, like on the old GameCube controller, it had that little spinny thing on the side. I cannot think of the proper name for those. But you know what I'm talking about, it's like a little wheel you spin. Like that's a creative controller. I don't know many controllers that have that. Right, he's gonna... Alright, I got an idea. So, X. We're gonna, instead of pressing down like I've been trying... Oh, come on. He moves too fast. Alright. We're gonna run. Oh, man. I just barely got that one. Gotta get past the fuzzy. Phew, we did it. I hate fuzzies. Like, if you were watching the stream during the Forever Force section, wait, not, this isn't the right, this isn't the right place. I was thinking I had to come here, but no, we gotta go away and then come back. So yeah, that is definitely annoying. We do have to cross the fuzzy bridge, of course. I wonder if you could drown Mario. Like, when he goes underwater underneath that bridge, nothing's gonna make him come up. Well, I hope the boss is like you say, because I'm ready to just... If you'll go on the other side of me, that would be great. Yes! Man, that was some of my best playing right there. Yeah, I know I'm going to the volcano.
Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, let's do this. Let's use... All right, we're going to charge up the Star Spirits. And we're going to use Battle's ability to hide. So we don't take damage. Out of sight. Like, I wish, you know, I wish Bao would be one of those in, uh, partners where her defensive abilities would be her first, her first ability. Like, as much as I like her ability to smack, I guess, um, I wish her defensive abilities would be number one. See, it skipped her turn then. I, 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 I did everything I did in order for her, her not to skip her turn. All right, we're gonna use Skeller, I think is his name. Good. I'm glad to know we get an ice power badge right at the entry. That will be, I will definitely be using a lot of that. All right, hide me please, Bao. I do not want to do everything again. I'm on three health. Alright, the goal is to use Grandpa Star's um, Febreze Air Freshener. See, he's going to come down and use the re re Febreze Air Freshener. It's going to heal us. Of course, we're going to get poisoned again. I dodged it, at least. Alright, we got to do some damage to both of them, hopefully. Yes, skull. Like, yeah, that's what I figured. It's like a, it's a play on words there. Why are they not done yet? I feel like I've done enough damage to them at this point. He <laughs> he bit, but he didn't know what he bit on. All right. I gotta damage both of them. Is that not enough for you people? Well, of course I'm done, unless the lucky badge kicks in. Nope. Usually Saturdays when I stream. Um, oh man, I hate I hate this chapter. Uh, usually Saturdays. I plan on Saturdays usually. If something happens and I can't do it, I just can't do it. Um, I do try to, I've tried my best to do it during the week, but I prioritize video making over everything else. Well, I think we're probably going to end the stream there with zero progress. But going now for over an hour, which was my original plan. I was really hoping to get a lot of work done in this game. But it doesn't look like it. This, this awful chapter. Like, I like this Yoshi guy. He's funny designed. There are some weird looking birds up here. And we even got to see what an Among Us would look like. Yeah, they, like, take away the little white dots. It's a squinty Among Us. That is so funny. That is so funny. Oh well. Do I attempt it again? I'm, I'm contemplating whether or not I want to go do all of that over again. We're going to buy some stuff at least. Do you have a heal item? What heals? Does this heal? Yes. You have more of these? We're buying one more. Did I buy those or was, I, was my inventory full? We got one, two... Can I sell something to you? Yeah, I can. I sell the coconuts. Well, no, you weren't. Were you here earlier, chill guy, when we found the Jade Raven? 
If you see what the Jade Raven looks like, you will know what I'm talking about. Did I not sell it? I, don't, I think I pressed the wrong button. No, I did. Right, we're gonna buy two more of those. Fill our inventory full of these super mushrooms. Alright, we're out of coins, but it doesn't matter because we're just gonna be wasting them on fights anyway. Running. Alright, let's see if we can do this as quick as we can. I would really love to get something done, at least. Why is there- there should be a save block, like, on this island. Alright, let's free sushi for the third time. Like, what's so bad about this is it's not even hard. It's just- it's tedious. Get to see that painting a third time, at least. Now, we're not doing none of that, because I know all of that is pointless. Alright, the goal... Swim under here. He slows down so much at the beginning. Are we going to get him upgraded? I suppose we'll upgrade him. That will be useful in the long run, I think. I'm gonna try to hide from this guy, though. I really wish they would start running and run past us. Walk past me. Walk past me. Don't do your little showy dance thing there. Walk past me. Does he not walk past you when you're invisible? Like, if I stand here, will he move further this way? No. Bummer. I tried, to, I tried to time it to get it within his zone. We're just gonna run. Alright. Let's upgrade... the fish. No... Sorry, Goombar, I didn't mean to give you false hope. That's kind of cruel. Poor Goombar. He, he thought he was getting upgraded. No, this is the most frustrating chapter by far. Like, even when I've died before, like, I think one chapter I died, like, six times or more. It wasn't bad because the challenge was, like, I felt fair. Like, the reasons I died, I felt like I could get better next time. This is just... Just, just random. Just more work than it's worth, I guess. I try to turn invisible, but I can't time it right. Alright. Let's get sushi. Like, at this point, I've run out of stuff to talk about. There's nothing else interesting to say about any of this. That time it worked great. <sighs> right, we're gonna use Skeller. Or Scholar. That's the proper way to say it, is Scholar. Please tell me that's enough. Yes. You'd think a scholar, like a like a book learner or librarian word, you'd think they would become like a... They would come in and give like, like knowledge on the enemy or something. But no, he just does a really powerful attack. Alright, we made it into the cave. Time to pull out what? Oh, I just realized. I bet you these rocks can be blown up with the bomb. I forget we're carrying around explosives. Right, you get back to your home. I bet you anything. If I stand here and then pull out Bombette and then launch her, 
Did that blow it up? Let's find out. No. I know there's a way to get rid of that rock. I just can't figure it out. Yeah, I decided to try to do something else. Sorry, I didn't mean to give... Didn't mean to give you false impressions. I was quitting immediately. I was thinking about it. About quitting, but... I shouldn't have... I should have said that a little bit better. I was contemplating whether or not I wanted to keep going on. And I decided we're at least going to free the Chigosi children. We'll decide if I go further past that when we get there. I mean, right now shorts are just up in the air, whether or not I continue them or not. Whenever I think of something, for a while, I was trying to just force them out every day. But now I've, I've, I'm really trying to focus on qu quality over quantity, I guess is the saying. Um, so if I think of something that I can put into a short, I'll probably put in the Among Us Jade Raven. That, I think, would be a pretty fun, fun short. Somehow, I'm not entirely sure. Yes, I'm gonna save this time. If I get to the when I get to the Goshi Village after saving all the kids, let's no, I don't need to be here. Everybody starts spamming save in the chat, and that's an order. I need to take these streams, I guess, and like edit them and cut them, and post them on like a. Um, stream VODs channel, I guess. Yeah, I don't have the patience to go back and save every individual Yoshi. Alright, let's use Scholar. No Scholar. See, the, what's funny though is this chapter would be so easily fixed if it just had worn save block. Or if that save block had been moved where I had seen it. Because like I've said in the past, if I see a save block, it doesn't matter if I just saved or not. Um, I get, I'm get i drawn to it like a moth to a lamp is the, the expression that I use. Trying to pull them out without... Letting that thing catch up to me. Hang on, I, I wait a minute. I do have to pass it, don't I? All right, let's pull out. Bow. I went. I was thinking I had to go back to the statue, but nope. Come on, get on the other side. Run. I love just, just zooming out of there like that. I mean, every live stream and every video. I try to make better than the last. Like this one, I tried to personalize it a little bit more. Like the whole blue bus thing, I can't believe the context for that hasn't shown up yet. It will eventually. That was my hope. Restore points. What are restore points? Am I- have I missed something that I get for free on the NSO version? We're at full health, which is awesome. What are restore points? Come on! Okay, I thought it was still alive. I was like, that's enough damage.
Save states. The menu. I mean, I can save suspend points. I could create, I may create a suspend point. That's a good idea. So now I'm saved. That's a good idea. I should have done that. I can save wherever I want to. I don't have to wait for save blocks. How did I forget about that? Thank you. It is so easy to spam that left to left because you don't have to make it come up all the way. Thank you so much for s <laughs> letting me know about the suspend points. I had completely forgot about that because I know in like the other consoles like the NES and SNES when you're playing you can like hit two buttons at once and you can just rewind a time. Doesn't matter, you can just rewind time. You can't do that on this one. I don't I don't think. No. Alright, is that all the Yoshis? Pretty sure there's just the sleeping one left. Is he just gonna stand on top of me? I believe our goal is that one that's sleeping in the tree. Near the very beginning. Is it through here? I was playing on like hard mode without the suspend points. Alright, let's create another one, just for the fun of it. That is... That is like such an overpowered feature I had just completely forgot about. Yeah, it's slightly different because like on the NES and SNES and I think Game Boy and possibly Game Boy Advance, I'm not sure, you're able to hit two buttons, like the triggers, I'm pretty sure it's the triggers. And it will, um... Oh man, I don't have the scholar. Okay, I figured that out. Oh, I just figured out the timing on that. Okay, everybody. I think the context for the thumbnail just showed up. Finally. You will finally be able to figure out why the thumbnail is like it is. Yeah, rewinds. Rewinds is the only difference. That's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. If that's the proper name for it. Oh man, that was a lot of... We, did, we have super shrooms, though. That's why I brought them. You're gonna swap out with a more powerful partner. At least I dodged the last one. I mean, the top channels that I... Man, that took almost all my health. Alright, so the goal is we're gonna heal. And then we're gonna hide. Um, no, what channels inspire me the most? I mean, I really try to do my own thing. Like, I don't want to be too similar to anybody else. I know I'm in a genre of videos that's very, very popular. There's a lot of different YouTubers that do that. I try to do my own thing. But I'd say styles? Like... I'd say there's a channel, it's kind of a smaller channel. Um, not super huge, it's not super small though, it's called the Cactus Plant. Just the, the sarcastic humor that they use. Alright, that was enough. We've been poisoned. 
Um, but yeah, like I say, I really try to do my own thing. points no can you run well at least we created let's at least we created a suspend point so it's not a big deal anymore I'd be really upset right now N Nintendo land is is I don't, I don't know how to s describe Nintendo Land. They're a little bit different. The way they do their content is much more mass-produced, I guess you could say. Let's see. Let's load a suspend point. But Garfenhopper... Did you see the, um, I don't know if you were here for the, um, wait screen, but if you want to go back and look at the, uh, starting soon screen, there's a little Easter egg in it. Mass produced, I mean, it could be a good thing, it could be a bad thing. I think they put a video out every single day. I'm pretty sure. And I don't want to talk bad about anybody at all. I mean, their content is very, very well put together, very well edited. But I feel like he forces a lot of it out. I feel like a lot of the content um, is not necessary, I guess you could say. Like, it's fun. It's fun content. And if that's what he's going for, then that's fine. That's perfectly okay. But he, I feel like he's presenting it in a way to where it's like news, in a sense. Yeah, go check out the waiting screen. There's an Easter egg. But like I said, I don't want to talk about it about him. He, he runs a fine channel. I've watched a lot of it. Why can I not get the timing right? But as far as me being similar to it, what the point I was trying to make is... Alright, let's load a suspend point. I was distracted that fight. Yes! The blue bus made an appearance, and the thumbnail is also has the Easter egg in there. The thumbnail may change, though. But yeah, I, I decided the blue bus should make an appearance. Alright, we are going to use... Actually, you know what? I messed up. Let's go back. Before we even start the fight, that is so nice, just to be able to load it instantly. So anybody else who's watching and they're confused about the context, for the entire time I've been streaming, um, Garfield Hopper has been one of the oldest, not the very first, but they've been around for a long time. One of the streams, they spent the entire time talking about something they know called the Blue Bus. And it's kind of become a running joke around here. And the Blue Bus kind of just is something that they have in their town, maybe, or it's something they've made up, I'm not sure. But there's a lot of lore behind it. You can go back and watch the past streams. Like, it's been entire discussions talking about such a random subject. And so, I decided it was finally time that the Blue Bus made a cameo. I was going to set it up. What I wanted to do was set it up to where the bus would drive across the screen. Like, right now, I would hit a button and it would be like a little animation would go across the bottom of the screen. But I couldn't figure out how you do that. I couldn't, like, I could get the bus animated and stuff, I could put the video up here, but it wouldn't be, like, a transparent background. Like, the added, the added context of that just makes it so much better. Like, you, you could have just said, my grandpa, my grandma thinks I made it up. But you added the context 
that she takes pills every hour. But gee, I really want to start personalizing content. Like with the blue bus. Other little easter eggs and stuff. Alright, we finally have enough. We can use Starstorm. Scholar. Man, they have a lot of health. Oh, come on. I thought that would be enough. Alright, we're gonna go with Bombette, because I'm pretty sure she does a mass of uh, damage. She can damage them and all of them. Like, why is there like four enemies? There's only one bush. No, I don't think I'll ever experience uh, burnout. I haven't experienced. Well, I, I, I kind of did a few months ago, back in October. I quit posting for a short time. Alright, we figured out the timing. Almost. We almost have it. I did quit posting uh, back in, like, October for a short time. Explosive destroys an enemy on the ground. I want explosive destroys all enemies on the ground. Okay. Press, press A repeatedly. That is a powerful one. Didn't hit the last one, though. That's a little shame. But that was back... Well, the reason I quit was back when I was making, like, a short every day. And then I started it back again. But... Okay. Wow, I didn't know we'd unlock that already. Ooh. This is a tough one. We've upgraded health. Which one does... What do you all think I should upgrade? Which one of these... Because I'm already at 25 health. You know, badge, badge points in these are much lower. Man. I feel like that is not the greatest upgrade, because it only goes up by three. This goes up by five. And we use a lot of flower points, so I'm going to probably do flower points. Alright, this should be the last Yoshi. I used Bombette for once. That's one thing I want. I want to see a Paper Mario game like these with partners, and I want to be able to have them all out at once. Like in the Thousand Year Door remake, if you're able to have all the partners out at one time, that would be absolutely awesome. And have them like controlled with the D-pad, maybe. No wait, they're still the sleeping Yoshi. What did I forget? Did I forget something? I gotta come in. I gotta come in through the back. That's right. Forgot about that. There's still one Yoshi left. Let's make a suspend point. No, not load. Well, I think this is where we end the stream today. It's been going on for quite a while now. I've got very little progress done. I hit the wrong button. I hit load, not create. I don't know, it would be nice. I don't know if they'd all be in battle, but like out in the field. Like their abilities are used in the field. Like out in the game. Like, it would be awesome if you could just use the fish and then, like, pull out bow and turn invisible in the water. Don't know what use that would have, but, like, all of them at once. Like, I would love if the D-pad could control it. Or, like, maybe the, uh, 
R3 and L3. No, I can't rewind because, um, that doesn't exist on the N64, and I loaded a spin point instead of creating it. What's the user guide? Okay. Well, that's helpful. I didn't know there was a user guide. For cursor press, for applause. Oh, okay. That's only for online. Interesting. I mean, there's a way it would work, I guarantee you. Because, I mean, all I really want is just all of the partners out. I don't care if they do anything or not, but I would love to have, like, a huge trail of partners behind me. All going along. Like, can you imagine how awesome that would be seeing uh, Cooper and Goombario and all of them all stacked up back here? I'm sure it would not work at all. And I know there's real reasons why they didn't do this. The helipopter? You mean helicopter? Or is it? Or is there an actual helipopter? Am I missing something? I'm always missing something, it seems. Man, I'm scared of that reset game button. That is a scary button right there. Yeah, the whole game would have to be designed to designed a little bit differently. Oh, there's all the partners. Okay. So I love these little artworks. I've never seen those anywhere else. I feel like I would see them on, like, social media accounts or, like, thumbnails, but stuff. It's like, no. Just never. You just never see it. Then you got... Hang on, you got spirits, star spirits. So I'm, I'm assuming this is the next one, whatever that one is. What is the Hellpocter? I'm trying to figure... I never, I never heard of the Hellpocketer before. Well, I hate that it has to be such an anticlimactic ending, but like, I think we pretty much have finished it. At this point, as much as I want to do at any given time. We've gone on now for about two hours, I guess. We started at 7. Right? 7.30? Oh, you're making it up? Okay. I was like, what? What? I'm like, it will be really useful to have that. Yeah, there's a fish out of water. Technically, I guess. That is a little weird. Is it a cheap cheap? Is that what it is? Like, I've never seen any fish that looks like it before. Well, thank you all for joining me for this lovely stream. It's been fun. It's been tedious, but it's been real fun. Um, we'll probably continue it sometime later this week. I really hope we can beat Paper Mario eventually. Today's stream didn't go as much as I planned. I would have hoped to have the star spirit at this point. But we'll have to do that next time. I hope you all have a good week, or until whenever I stream again. Thank you for joining me. Make sure to do all the stuff, you know, like, subscribe, you know. Everybody says that. Wish there was a more unique way to say it. Your dog rolled down the roof last night. Goodness, hope it's okay. Well, thank you for joining me. Thanks for watching.